the England fitness test when I first played, it was a 3K run. <laughs> well, no, look, he's Straight laughing. Run. Look, he's laughing. <laughs> not even, I'm not even preempted this. Literally <laughs> laughing of all we did. So we're in the England change room, we're at your peg. You're looking round. What are you visualising? You know, you've got the, the water, the juice in the middle, you know, people flying around with tape, mm. um, you know, all adjusting their studs and, you know, headphones on. I think classic rugby support England thinks you come in here, you have a nice piping hot bath afterwards, you all go down the pub and you all celebrate. It's sports science now though, isn't it? What, yeah. what actually, take, take us inside the change room at the end of a, a game, a winning game. A winning game, usually a sing song straight away. Right. Um, you know, come around, give it you know, a, pat on, a pat on the back, and then Johnny Mate li likes to get his uh, song on. And then, yeah, basically. Is it always the same song, or is it? Uh, yeah, he, he does his own little uh, adjustments, uh, you it? know, keep it current. Um, oh. And then, yeah, straight in the ice baths, uh, see the physios, got, got any knocks and bruises, and then, yeah, pour into all the media stuff afterwards. Did you, there are some players who. From the age of seven, go, I'm going to play for England, I'm going to play for England, I'm going to play for England. Then there are others who just rock up at training, mini rugby, go through and like find themselves in a change room goal. This is quite good. Which category do you fall in? Yeah, definitely the first. Right. I think I've still, my mum's still got um, like pieces of artwork I did um, when I was at school where I drew myself in like an England shirt or yeah, something. Right. When did you suddenly realise actually everything I've always dreamed of, all those pictures I drew at home, suddenly you were there. What, what was the moment? Uh, probably warming up for the Argentina test. Right. So obviously Argentina was the first cap and um, my brother was the 24th man right. and it was literally, I don't know, everything obviously came so quickly, it was my first year of professional rugby and then warming up and you see the crowd, you hear the atmosphere and you obviously feel the heat, it was boiling that day and I was just there with my brother and it was just like, like it's actually like started to click a bit. When were you as close to sporting perfection as you'd like? Um, probably, probably the Wales game away. Yeah, 2019, uh, the Six Nations game at uh, the Principality. Yeah, uh, you scored, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I got my first try. And Seven, it's ten, is it 10 yards out or are you going to say 15? 15, get, 15 get the extra. Yeah, I remember. So that's the individual perspective. The, the collective team performance, I mean, I'm, I'm going to put words in your mouth. I could, everyone would say, I know the answer to this, it's yeah. going to be the semi-final, it's going to be the semi-final. The best team performance. Yeah, I've been involved. You know, you probably hit the note. The semi final against the All Blacks. Not just you know, the, put put the score aside. I just think you know, there's no there's no greater feeling than you know creating a plan, working the plan. You know, three four years in the making, and then even you know that the build up of that whole week, and going we're going to do this 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 in that order, and it comes off. Mm. The, the England fitness test when I first played, it was a three k run. <laughs> well, no, look, he's Straight laughing. Run. Look, he's laughing. <laughs> it's not even, I'm not even preempted this. Literally <laughs> laughing of all we did. What's your training when you're left to your own device? You think I'm seeing Eddie Jones in a couple of weeks. I know he hates people who aren't fit. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, just sprinting, basically. Is it? Yeah, literally 22 back, 22 back. Try and get that in about 20 seconds. How much rest? And then yeah, go again in another 15 seconds. Probably repeat that eight times. Eight times. So, and then, so you're basically sort of say because rugby is never a straight line, mm. you're putting in 80 metres with one, two, three turns. Down and ups. Short and intense. It's done in four minutes, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, how long is it it's, a hell, it's a hell of a four minutes. And I know um, Eddie Jones is massive on time. Uh, and we actually had a phrase, we, called, we talked about Lombardi time. Because time is our most precious commodity. So... Once we introduced our, introduced our teamship rules, with the lads who were reprobate, some of them, just no one was ever late. It was bang on time, respect everyone's time. I assume if you walk into an A. Jones meeting 10 minutes late, there's trouble. I think if you're walking on time, there's trouble. Is it? We've got a meeting at 10, 9.58 is probably, 9.57 .50, probably, three or four minutes before is when, that's when the meeting starts. Um, so what's your most memorable uh, experience at Twickenham? So, I think most people think it's going to be like a game. Weirdly enough, I love, I love being in here. Yeah. And uh, whenever I get the opportunity to come back in this change room, people say, what's the change room like? And they think it must be so noisy, there's 80,000 mm. people. It's like, it's like it is now. You can almost hear a pin drop. You hear the yeah. rattle of the studs. Um, you had talked about the, the, the kit man and Dave Tennyson was our kit man. And um, I used to be sat over there. Now you're really structured, really organised. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way around here. Yeah. Fifteen's around there, and the yeah. stuff down there. In the old days, it was dead man shoes. And what I mean by that, you inherited the peg of the bloke whose position you took. For me, there's a spot about three metres from here, which is the Holy Grail, which was, say the game was kicking off at three o'clock, 
uh, about six Martin Johnsons, it's like an invisible ex Johnson who's over there, which is never step on that middle spot, walk around it, walk around. And then when he migrated to the center, it was like this, didn't say anything, gravitational pull, 14 lads just around it, bang. And just listening to the, you'll have your greatest captain, the players you're playing with now, you wouldn't swap any of your players for any of our lot, we wouldn't swap any of your <laughs> lot for any of yeah. ours. That would be the case. But say, what do you mean? You wouldn't, none, of, no, none, none of this lot would get in the 2003 team. I said, well, that's the 2009 team. They wouldn't pick one of us. Because it's not about skill set at that level, it's about the people you're with. Uh, what I get from playing for England is a tremendous amount of self-belief and just understanding that if you can set yourself goals and go for it and have plans and pick yourself up off the floor you can, you can literally achieve anything and that's what that peg that's what mm. that peg means for me i think that that's what's special about this change room at the minute mm. you know you go to your peg you've got you know neil back richard hill mm. and they're all the names um b below yours yeah and it's just like you see the people that have gone before you yeah. and the legends of the game who you've looked up to and you kind of like i know the change rooms now we we still um you know, this is kind of the forwards corner. Yeah. And obviously forwards at half-time have their meeting, backs have their meeting. And we've still got one of those old benches. Oh, and it's yeah. it's got the engravings of it. And, you know, we, we chuck that across and people sit there so we can just enclose the meetings off. And I kind of like that tie between the, the you know, I say the old, I'm not sure, yeah. no offence, but yeah. like, you know, what, what happened previously and, and, and now that kind of, the, the link between and everything's linked. Yes. And you, that, that heritage just throughout the game, even though, you, you know, focus on the game, you know, it just runs, runs through everything you're doing. This is all about the old, and you actually, when you walk into the change room here on the walls, on the right hand side are the messages yeah. castle, fortress, and we suffocate, and all these sort of the words you're talking about defensively. The left hand side are all some of the great players and some of the great names. So it's that combination of old and new. There's a phrase that Clive put up in the tunnel before we ran out. Phrases used to change all the time, but one of the phrases was remember who stood here so that you're actually, you're just, you're borrowing the shirt. Mm. You try and fill it with uh, tremendous performances and, 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 and pass it on to the next guy who takes the jersey on from you in, in a better position than you receive it. And I think all these little touches with the, with the names of the previous players and, um, and, and the sports science and, and yeah. the writing on the wall are critical. Definitely.